Hi and thanks for joining me and in this video we're going to talk about how to add a photo gallery to a Google site. Several teachers have come to me recently asking how to do such a thing and initially in the past I would say that you would create a Google slideshow with images that you could post up on your Google site and have it appear as a revolving gallery. And that's all fine and good but what if say for instance you're an elementary teacher and you want to show at a glance multiple photos from a class field trip or maybe you're a Photoshop teacher and you want to show student work at a glance well the best way to do that is to first go into Google Drive and create a folder that you can then share out to anyone that has the link so for instance I have on my Google Drive I have a folder called TechSmith which houses all of my animated GIF files. If I were to right click on that folder, click share, and then set up my advanced sharing settings to anyone with the link can view, and save that, then any pictures that I put into that folder would also inherit those rights and be viewable by anyone that goes to my website and views that folder. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself and you're probably wondering why is he talking about folders in Google Drive? Well this is my solution to the class photo gallery. We're going to go out to the old Google Sites and I'm going to click on the pencil to edit my page and one of the features of Google Sites is that you can actually link to anything that's in your Google account and in this case I can go to Google Drive and choose folder and then search for the folder that I want to share online and it's this folder right here it has all of my animated GIF files in it I'll click select and then I'm gonna tell it to make this about 800 by 800 so it takes up the page and instead of displaying my files in that folder as a list I'm gonna choose grid and it will actually show the thumbnails of those pictures I click save center that on the page save my website and there you have it I have a photo gallery of all of the animated GIF files and snapshots that I've taken with my Snagit extension and people can see it there on my website as an online gallery. So if you did this with a classroom and you put all your field trip photos in a folder and then inserted that folder on a web page on Google Sites, it makes it easy for everyone to see. And then if you have more pictures that you need to add in the future, you can just create a folder inside that folder and add pictures to it. Or you can just dump pictures into that folder and they would automatically appear here on my Google site. Now the next step to this is how do you do that on the new Google Sites? So I'll flip over here to this, which is my practice site that I've been using with the new Google Sites. And I'm going to take out this web element right here. And I want to put my gallery of Photoshop projects down here. So I'll go over to the right in my tools and click Drive Folder. I'll do a quick search in my drive for the folder I want to use. Here it is. I go to the bottom and click insert and I'll set my width the way that I want it and you could notice here it's already showing up as a list but I don't want to do that so if I go up to the top and click on the settings and change this from list view to grid view and hit done there it is there's my photo gallery and if I click the preview button to see what it looks like on the web I can see that it shows up exactly the way I want it to and now I've got a photo gallery that everybody can see and it's great for class projects. Well hopefully this has given you a quick tip and something to think about for the new school year as you do photos for your classroom or on field trips and thanks for joining me we'll see you next time.